Here, let us learn how to find the value of the polynomial at different values of the variable. So let us consider 5x minus 4x square plus 3. Now let us find the value of 5x minus 4x square plus 3 when x equals 0. So all that we have to do is substitute 0 in the place of x. So 5 into 0 minus 4 into 0 square plus 3. So 5 into 0 is 0 minus 4 into 0 square. 0 square is 0 and therefore 0 into 4 is also 0. So we write 0 here plus 3. 0 minus 0 is 0 and 0 plus 3 is 3. So therefore the value of 5x minus 4x square plus 3 at x equals 0 is 3. Now, let us find the value of 5x minus 4x squared plus 3 when x equals minus 1. So, all we have to do is substitute minus 1 in the place of x. So, it becomes 5 into minus 1 minus 4 into minus 1 the whole square plus 3. 5 into minus 1 is minus 5 minus 4 into minus 1 the whole square is 1. So 4 into 1 plus 3. So minus 5 minus 4 into 1 is minus 4 plus 3. So minus 5 minus 4 is minus 9 minus 9 plus 3 is minus 6. So therefore minus 6 is the value of 5x minus 4x squared plus 3 when x equals minus 1. Now, let us find the value of 5x minus 4x squared plus 3 when x equals 2. So again, all we have to do is just substitute 2 in the place of x. So therefore, it becomes 5 into 2 minus 4 into 2 square plus 3. 5 into 2 is 10 minus 4 into 2 square. So 2 square is 4. So that makes it 4 into 4 plus 3. So 10 minus 4 into 4 is 16 plus 3. 10 minus 16 is minus 6. Minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3. Therefore, the value of 5x minus 4x square plus 3 when x is equal to 2 is minus 3. Now let us do some more problems based on the same concept but the question being rephrased. So now find p of 0, p of 1 and p of 2 for each of the following polynomials. So we just have a set of algebraic equations uh, for which we need to find the values when the variables are substituted with different numbers. So we have p of y equals y square minus y plus 1. So when p of y is y square minus y plus 1, what will be p of 0? So p of 0 will be 0 square minus 0 plus 1. So all I am doing here is in the place of y I have written 0 here. So similarly in the place of y in the expression substitute 0. So we get 0 square minus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. So therefore p of 0 is 1. Now let us see what is p of 1. p of 1 will be 1 square minus 1 plus 1, which is nothing but 1 square is 1 minus 1 plus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0 plus 1. 
and 0 plus 1 is 1. So therefore, P of 1 is 1. Now, let us find what is P of 2. So all we have to do is substitute 2 in the place of y. So it becomes 2 square minus 2 plus 1, which is nothing but 2 square is 4 minus 2 plus 1. 4 minus 2 is 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. So therefore, P of 2 is 3. So simple, isn't it? Let us go to another expression. P of t this time equals 2 plus t plus 2t square minus t cube. So now, the first one is p of 0. So if p of t is 2 plus t plus 2t square minus t cube, then p of 0 will be 2 plus 0 plus 2 into 0 square minus 0 cube. So when we substitute 0 in the place of t, Similarly, substitute 0 here in the expression as well. So it becomes 2 plus 0 plus 0 squared is 0 and 0 into 2 is also 0. 0 cube is 0 as well. So P of 0 is 2. Now, let us find out what is P of 1. So P of 1 is 2 plus 1 plus 2 into 1 square minus 1 cube, which is nothing but 2 plus 1 plus 1 square is 1 and 1 into 2 is 2 minus 1 cube is 1. We have plus 1 minus 1 cancelling and 2 plus 2 is 4. So P of 1, we have it as 4. Now finally, we come to P of 2. So here we have 2 plus 2 plus 2 into 2 square minus 2 cube. So we have 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 square is 4. Here that is 2 square is 4. This 4 into 2 is 8 minus 2 cube is 8. So we have plus 8 and minus 8 cancelling and therefore P of 2 equals 4. Let us take a couple more problems on these. Say P of x equals x cube. So all we have to do is first find P of 0, which is nothing but 0 cube. So 0 cube is 0 and therefore P of 0 is 0. Now let us find P of 1 which is 1 cube. So 1 cube is 1 and therefore P of 1 is 1 again. So this is seeming to be a very easy problem. Now P of 2 is 2 cube. P of 2 is 2 cube is nothing but 2 into 2 into 2 which is 8. So P of 2 is 8. Let us take one final problem and that is nothing but p of x equals x minus 1 into x plus 1. So the first value is p of 0. So we have 0 minus 1 into 0 plus 1. 0 minus 1 is minus 1 and 0 plus 1 is plus 1. So negative 1 and positive 1 when multiplied gives us minus 1. So therefore P of 0 is nothing but minus 1. The next value that we've got is to find P of 1 which is nothing but 1 minus 1 into 1 plus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0 again and 1 plus 1 is 2. But anything multiplied with 0 is 0 and therefore P of 1 is 0. The final value that we have to substitute is 2 and so we have P of 2 as 2 minus 1 
into 2 plus 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1 and 2 plus 1 is 3. So therefore 3 into 1 is 3 and so p of 2 is equal to 3.